Hi there, Sagittarius. My name is Abby. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a reading, general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Does not matter to me what placement or connection you have to a Sagittarius. People watch what they want to watch. I'm not about to try and tell you what it's for because if you want to do it, you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? So... This is going to be general, completely. Uh, whatever spirit wants to bring forward for the sign of Sagittarius is welcome. Whatever is the most important and relevant messages will be talked about here. So same rules as any other reading on YouTube, right? Only take the stuff that makes sense for you in your life. If I say something that doesn't make sense for you in your life, it's probably for somebody else, okay? So just leave it be. Let it go. Let that person have it. Take the stuff that's for you. Okay? Okay, we have, ooh, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So, this feels like if this is not a water sign person with I can't help it there's the sun right behind that maybe a Leo or some happiness related to love or uh, some kind of project of the heart passion project of some kind this could have to do with you gaining a lot of emotional control a lot of emotional mastery in some place in particular and it feels like it's been a lot of hard work to get there Okay, is what I'm kind of seeing here. In your first row, we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. We have Pisces down here with the moon. We have the Nine of Wands. You did not give up, Sagittarius. There is something here you really wanted to commit to. And I mean, this is no surprise with the Saggy. Um, higher learning of some kind, probably. I'm wanting to say could even be like a spiritual pursuit, philosophy. Um, for some, it could be a commitment, like a marriage. I could take a look at it, but it this feels like something that was really important for, the, for you to commit to. It was a long push, but you kept up with it, even though there were doubts and some fears and some things that felt really unknown, okay? Let me get a little more about this Hierophant. <laughs> In the world. Okay. So this is beautiful graduating energy. I love that world card. So it's like the Hierophant with the world, right? There could have been some kind of leveling up or graduation when it comes to an, a commitment. Okay. Some kind of larger commitment, something that is, um, could have to do with like large institutions like banks or hospitals or um, all kinds of things, institutions that are like establishments, right? If you think of like the Pope is supposed to be the symbol with the Hierophant there, kind of like the church or something like that. Now there's this graduating energy of like you've kind of gone as far as you can in a certain place. And now it feels like you are gaining some energy to move into something else. You have all major arcanas in this top row here. So it feels like your mind space is all big picture right now, Sagittarius. Okay, it's not so much the little stuff day to day. It's kind of like, it feels like there could be some kind of change in the heart of things here that you are contemplating or you are feeling coming on. I'm going to take a look at this. Nine of Wands and Nine of Swords, two nines. And the Seven of Swords and the Moon. Okay, so like I was saying, you didn't give up. It looks like there was probably some anxiety, maybe some fears. Um, you probably had to deal with some sort of temporary and unstable situations. And it was pretty freaking tiring and pretty nerve wracking, it seems like. But you stuck with the larger energy here of this wounded warrior, it feels like here. And it's moving you. I mean, we have here the moon and the seven of wands. So this feels like you really stood your ground during times of uncertainty. And I feel like that has perhaps given you a perspective or a leg up on the competition, if there is any competition around you. Uh, this could also be talking about 
I'd say standing your ground against like a Pisces person with this moon card here. But I feel like you're really defending your your position. Even though there's like uncertainty, even though there's like surprises. Oh, yeah. So you just have major arcanas peeking out all over the place. This is the Empress, gorgeous. So divine feminine energy, super attractive. Let me see what this high priestess is about. The strength card <laughs> next to the strength card. Okay, so your intuition is really, really on point here. And I feel like you are trying, um, you're using that skill, right? Could also be, like, sure, it could be a Pisces person or a Leo person around you. Um, this feels like you are really kind of figuring out when to use, like, which version of you. <laughs> that was really awkwardly worded, Sag. Okay. So, like, the strength card is all about that duality, right? We have sort of, like, the angel, the maiden, and the beast, right? And it feels like you are really, you've moved up in a certain way where now you're kind of like, all right, all right. Sometimes it's okay to bring out that lion, you know? Sometimes I'm really having to show, make like a show of my strength. Okay, okay. Maybe this is a time with all of this fast moving energy here with the eight of wands. Let's, you know, let's let me show them what I can do. Very nice. And I feel like you're being choosy with it with that high priestess, with that intuition there. Because strength is also a card of control, right? It's a start of, a card of self-control also. And I feel like you're really kind of tuning into when to use what. That's gorgeous. Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands there. And the Knight of Swords with the Three of Wands. Okay, so aces are like new possibilities. This could be the seed even of something like a long-term relationship, something that's stable. Pentacles are in the 3D. So we're talking about um, your work, your relationships, your money, your schooling, things that you can really invest in that will grow over time, that will create real results. There's some quick movement here. So you could have some messages coming in. Um, this feels like there could be some kind of movement or travel. Now, of course, depending on wherever you are in the world, you know, in some places that's more possible than others right now. Um, but this feels like there's a lot of fast moving energy. So if it is an actual movement, like moving house, this feels or like moving to another country or moving for school or, you know, on a vacation or something like that. This feels like you really kind of sending out, um, it could even be like emails, could be job applications, could be, if you're looking for love, could be like, signing up for some dating sites or a matchmaking service or something like that, deciding to get out there and say hi to people and, <laughs> and do that kind of thing. Um, it's a lot of initiative moving. I really like it. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords with the Three of Wands. So air sign energy with the Knight. That is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel like, and this is interesting because like this Knight is pointing in this direction and so is the three of wands the three of wands is a card of sort of like you've sent all your ships out you've done the stuff that you can do and now you're waiting for the returns this knight of swords feels like they want to come up and bash this dude up the back of the head <laughs> and tell them to to get moving is what i'm getting here this knight of swords can be an indication of a total like lifestyle change um this feels like you really wanting to flip some stuff around on its head it could be like in things say in your work you could be really trying to optimize like your role or the way that you you do business um if you're wanting to start a business it could be like you know what i'm gonna get started on something even before i hear back about the license for this that or the other i'm gonna i'm gonna get something moving i'm not just gonna sit here waiting anymore this feels much like this um you could also have like an air sign energy someone coming in or that you're you're waiting on that's a possibility there as well let me take a look here so this strength card what you're moving into ultimately the death card interesting your entire top row is all major arcana sag this is crazy 
And you have the fool at the bottom of the deck, new beginnings, right? Aries energy. <sighs> Sad, what are you up to? You're working on something. You see things as like puzzle pieces, I feel like. You're starting to get more strategic with the choices that you make. The strength in the death card could be Scorpio, right? Or Leo energy. Endings bringing new beginnings with the death card. It feels like you are having to have a great deal of inner strength to allow the things to end that need to end, right? There's certain stuff that needs to be put to bed here because there's a new beginning starting with this energy of the fool. There's something new. So you know that before, I feel like you have a very good knowledge that it's going to take some strength. It's going to take some will. But there's certain stuff that you have to put to bed because you're getting to work on something else. That's really nice energy because it is a total turnaround kind of energy there. We have the Knight of Swords again hanging out with the Ten of Swords here. Okay? So again, <laughs> Ten of Swords... I know there's some people who are like, it's the worst card. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't see it as the worst card. Um, all the stuff that's happened, all the stuff that's being shown here has already happened, right? We're not seeing it as it's happening. This is what we're seeing is basically the sun coming up over the horizon there, right? That big starburst happening. And it's like, okay, something new is bursting forth from a painful cycle that is now coming to an end. Um, there could have been something that feels almost like a betrayal, but I feel like this Knight of Swords energy is so fast moving and so future oriented, um, could be an air sign around you that's involved in something, but this is that very future oriented, it looks like, like this Knight of Swords is facing backwards, Right? down here sort of subconscious energy waiting waiting then up here head on direct ready to fight coming in with truth right i'm i'm ready to take this on and it's because i feel like there's something really that you're embracing um an ending of because i feel like you're starting to frame it as a new beginning as this ace of pentacles right oh i love it we have here five of coins with the page of pentacles. So you could have a feeling of being sort of left out in the cold, possibly by an earth sign. You have a lot of air and earth here, so possibly one of those. But for some others, it feels like I'm wanting to tell you not to... Um, focus on the times when you didn't get what you needed all right because here it feels like do you see how i like this card this five of coins because it has this hand sort of outstretched and it's like the universe is tossing them a coin finally right usually we see like the two beggars or we see people out looking all dejected and sad they're all like i tend to say that they're like disconnected from comfort from community it's a five, it's contrast, right? It's conflict, is that kind of stuff. But in this case, it's like, this looks like the end of it to me, okay? Because it feels like the universe kind of throwing you a bit of a bone there, right? And then the page of pentacles going, okay, so where am I going to take this now, right? I'm going to get, getting moving on something really important to you. So this could be a new start in business, jobs, long-term relationships, Real things in the 3D, because it's like up here, you are just, oof, you are all big time energies up here, Saggy. That's nuts. Okay, I'm going to give you an oracle or two. This is wisdom of the oracle for my Sagittarius people. Can I please have message? Wanting to do this. Okay. So it's the Observer, number 49. 
so the essential meanings are, it's talking about perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance, okay? So when we got it in the upside down, right? In the reversed protection message, I'm gonna hold it like this so you can take a look at the image. Okay, so this says, okay, it says, ever think sometimes your life options are suction cupped to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? <laughs> There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward, so take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting to drink for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. Okay. So, you might have, it looks like in your mind space there's a lot of big picture energy. But this might be, you know, telling you to take a look at the energies around you, see whether or not you are able to see the big picture. Sometimes tarot doesn't tell us exactly what we're experiencing. Sometimes it even offers us what we need to consider. So I know whenever I watch readings, if something is like way off and obviously isn't my life, then okay, it's not my reading. I watch readings all the time, happens to me all the time. Um, but sometimes some stuff comes up where I go, well, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> or maybe I do need to think about, about this in this certain way. Maybe I am being too narrow-minded. Maybe I am being too short-sighted. Am I, right? It's a chance to also check in with yourself. That's the easiest way. Yep, <laughs> the world again. That's the way I use tarot, at least. I don't rely on it as much for predictions as I do for just guidance, right? Insight into ourselves. Just a second. Oh, well, golly gee, you got the world card. And the essential meanings of this are expansion and opening up. Interesting. So it says the, the man in this picture, right? is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Didn't I say something about that? Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, and now is the time to think big, as they say. The world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. Okay. Looking at the big picture here, Sag, we have the affirmation, if you're into daily affirmations, um, or if this one speaks to you. It says, my life expands into boundless horizons with unlimited, powerful energy. A world of possibilities is open to me now. I like it. <laughs> Very nice, Sag. I hope something in here rang your bell or helped you to reflect on something that you might be going through at the moment. I hope it was helpful to you in some way. Um, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, don't comment, <laughs> whatever. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate all of the support. If you happen to have a Pisces placement, I have a Pisces channel that is linked in the description where I do pretty well daily Pisces content and readings on this channel. I upload whenever I am able for all of the signs. I uh, really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, lots of love. Take care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you on the next one.